Hi guys, welcome to Booking with Mira. I wanted to come on today to share with you guys two amazing books that I have read and have been meaning to share with you guys. So let's get right to it. The first one is a YA literature book called Piecing Me Together. Um, I read this book during a time when I was trying to find something for my students to read and I stumbled upon this gem at the Reginald F. Lewis Museum here in Baltimore. And before I give you my review, I just want to really quickly read with you guys the inside pocket that really intrigued me and made me want to read the book. So, here we go. Jay believes she must get out of her poor neighborhood if she's ever going to succeed. Her mother tells her to take advantage of every opportunity that comes her way. And Jade has. Every day she rides a bus away from her friends and to the private school where she feels like an outsider, where she has plenty of opportunities. There's also at least one opportunity that she doesn't really welcome. Woman to Woman, a mentorship program she joins on the promise of a scholarship. Just because her mentor is black and graduated from the same high school doesn't mean she understands where Jade is coming from. She's tired of being singled out as someone who needs support, someone people want to fix. Jade wants to speak, to create, to express her joys and sorrows, her pain and her hope. Maybe there are some things she could show other women about understanding the world and finding opportunities to be real, to make a difference. In this story about a girl striving for success in a world that feels too often like it wants to break her, Renee Watson once again delivers a thoughtful and relevant novel that explores issues of race, privilege, and relationships. So I breezed through this book in two days. I fell in love with the character Jade. She reminded me so much of myself as, as an artist and as someone who is really, really, um, I'm really an introvert, but I, I find myself trying to break out of that box and out of my own show. And I really, really love this book. And I think this is an amazing book for all black girls to read because especially when you're coming from a single parent household or when you're coming from an inner city where you feel as though, you know, you really want to break out of that mold and you really want to try and learn new experiences. But you feel like the moment that you do break out of your own environment, then people are like, oh, I need to fix you. I need to change you. And you're like, no, I'm just as smart as everyone else. I bring just as much to the table as everyone else. I don't need a savior. Just let me be me. Let me do my thing. Let me shine. Jade is such an amazing character. I think so many of us can connect with. She's a 17 year old girl. She is an artist, she's a thinker, she's bright, she's intelligent, but she's trying to navigate her own way through the world. She's dealing with racism at her school, where she's really happy to be because it does provide so many opportunities for her, but at the same time, you know, she's trying to fight the backlash of being the token black girl. You know, she's sitting in class and there's a discussion about racism, everyone's gonna turn and look at Jade for her opinion. And she's like, hold up. Don't just look at me, like just because I'm black doesn't mean that I want to be the voice for the entire community. And sometimes I get that. Um, even at work for myself, you know, if there's a conversation I'm around my colleagues and it's a question about, you know, black issues or racial issues and everyone kind of turns and looks at you like, so what do you think, Mira? And you're just like, um, I was going to chime in, but dad, don't just like assume right off the bat. But anywho, I think that Piecing Me Together is such a great book. I love the title. Um, she's a she's an artist, as I mentioned, but she likes to create collages. And so there's like a play on the Piecing Me Together title. Yes, it's a piece of her art, but then it's also just about her trying to figure out who she is. Yes, she is from the inner city. Yes, she goes to a private school. Yes, she's a loner, but yes, she wants to make more friends. I mean, there's so many elements of this that I think so many girls can relate to. So Piece Me Together was amazing. If you are looking for a book for your high schooler or your middle schooler to read, this is a great book. I recommend this. I try to get my sisters to read it. I'm still going to make them read it. Don't worry. I'm coming for them. All right. The other book that I wanted to share is How Are You Going to Save Yourself? Another book that I breezed through. Absolutely loved it. This one was written by, um, this is actually a debut author. This was his first book and it just completely blew me away. I'm always inspired by debut authors because um, I'm writing my first novel and I can't wait to get it out there. But I'm always inspired by those um, debut artists because they take this chance and for them to create such amazing work as how are you gonna save yourself? It's just, it's empowering. So let me go ahead and jump into the description. 
Bound together by shared experience but pulled apart by their changing fortunes, four young friends growing up in the post-industrial enclave of Pawtucket, Rhode Island, struggled to liberate themselves from the legacies left to them as black men in America. With potent immediacy and bracing candor, this provocative debut follows a decade in the lives of Dove, Rose, Rye, and Geo as they grapple with the complexity of their family histories, the allure of sex and drugs, and the ferocity of their desires. Gio proves himself an unforgettable narrator, beautifully flawed and instinctively honest, and he recounts his friends' triumphs and failures. Whether it's a family cookout gone wrong, a ruckus night in high society Manhattan turned dark, or the troubled efforts of a hustler to get go legit, J.M. Holmes brings the thump and heat of his scenes to life with the kind of ease that makes us not just eavesdroppers, but participants. How are you going to save yourself illuminates in breathtaking detail an entire world, one that has been un underrepresented in American fiction. At times funny, often uncomfortable, occasionally disturbing, these stories fearlessly engage with issues of race, sex, drugs, class, and family. Holmes's blistering and timely new voice, richly infused with the unmistakable rhythms of hip hop that form the soundtrack to his character's lives, delivers an and that, uh, I guess we can't read right now. <laughs> An indelible fiction that has never been more vital and necessary. See, this book. I always want to make, you know, I'm like, I now need to go back and make sure I can read. Um, anywho, <laughs> this book was amazing. I love the characters. You really feel connected to the characters. You really want to know more about the characters. And you really get enveloped in their stories. Like they said, this was like fast-paced it did sound like it needed a really great hip-hop um soundtrack to it but it really made you think and even just, i mean like yes i'm black but i'm a woman and so to be able to go in the minds of young black men millennial black men it was amazing because you don't really know what they think because too often men don't like to share what they think and when they do sometimes they're often criticized for it so for me being able to go inside the minds of a black man get a little bit of understanding of their relationships and why they make some of the decisions that they make this was the book for that it was amazing i think jm holmes like this was awesome this was inspirational i cannot wait to read more of your work so keep writing don't stop yes this was your first book but i am waiting and hoping that you write more because this was phenomenal and i think that if you are a young adult high school to young adults this is a great book for you to read if you're looking for something during this quarantine time to, you know, take you through the days. Jay and Holmes, how are you going to save yourself? Is the book to do it. If you are looking for any recommendations for books, please feel free to hit me up. You can email me at icarherqueen.com or you can leave me a comment. I'm also available on social media at icarherqueen.com and you can find all of my videos on Looking with Mommy and Nigel. As you guys, some of you may know, I make book reviews with my six-year-old son. And I also sometimes like to, you know, venture off of my own and make some um, videos of YA and young adult literature. And so please, if you have any recommendations for me to read, by all means, please send them my way. If you have a book that you're like, no, Nira, you need to read this book, I am all for it. Please send it my way. Send me a title. Send me a copy. Whatever. I would love to read it. And so thank you guys for booking with Nira Muhammad. Have a good day.